But when I saw Jessica's face, I felt like I was looking at Meadow. Aww. You know what I mean? Like I was just like, aww. Aww. Love is the easiest thing in the world when it happens by accident, but it doesn't get real until you do it on purpose. Now, I know you chose animation for this project, Scott. What was the inspiration behind that? I was in a place where I was just tired of the same old thing. I mean, this was my 10th album. It was just important for me to just kind of keep doing what I've been doing since since the beginning of time, and that's keep pushing it, you know, and elevating my whole shit. And the animated component just took it to a different place and something new, and that was exciting for me. The moment you heard the music, the music really informed the world, and they started kind of coalescing into becoming like really like one unified sort of symbiotic thing, and I really feel like that's what makes this really special. It was the first time we were ever gonna have an album and a show launch basically at the same time and each track on the album go along with each chapter of the, of the movie. And we wanted it to kind of show the progression of guy meets girl, guy loses girl, guy gets girl back, but do it in a way that we haven't really seen before. This is a whole immersive, interactive experience. You know, when we saw it a couple months ago, I was like weeping at the end for two reasons. I was like, oh my God, it worked. <laughs> You know, and that was the first thing. I was like, man, that's crazy. And then another thing, it was just like, it was so beautiful. What drink and snack would you recommend while watching Enter Galactic? Ooh. Ooh. This one's for the millennials. It's like hot Cheetos and then maybe water with like a little packet of electrolytes or something. <laughs> yeah, I would say, I would say buttered popcorn, maybe movie theater buttered popcorn. Yeah. And some Simply Fruit Punch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very tasty juice. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. really good. If it's a date, why not, you know, crack open a bottle of like Cab and like have a charcuterie board that you're gonna sit and, and sort of just take it in because I do think that there is something very mature about this. I'm your new neighbor, Jabari. Nice to meet you. I met him. When it comes to the chemistry of the cast, how did you decide who to reach out to? It was kind of like a feeling for a lot of it. When I saw Jessica's face, I felt like I was looking at Meadow. Aww. You know what I mean? Like I was just like, oh, that's Meadow. Aww. That's awesome. <laughs> you know? That's the first time I heard that. Oh my yeah, gosh. like so it was like a feeling. It was a lot of it was a lot of that. You know, it's like Ty Dolla Sign and Timmy just looked like they would be two of my homies. We would just all kick it. With Timothy, I was just like, oh man, it would be funny if he was like my weed dealer, you know, like <laughs> with, a, with a Caesar, you know, just straight, just change his whole situation mm -hmm. and just make him a whole nother dude. The Caesar killed me. Yeah. It's very funny. They're, they're so, so yeah. funny. Good. Keep it that way.